Good morning and welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel 22. We're going to finish the chapter today, verses 20 through 23. We read it, then we think about it together, then we pray. Now, one of the sons of Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled after David. And Abiathar told David that Saul had killed the Lord's priests. So David said to Abiathar, I knew that day when Doeg the Edomite was there, that he would surely tell Saul, I have caused the death of all the persons of your father's house. Stay with me, do not fear, for he who seeks my life seeks your life, but with me you shall be safe. Okay, so this is a terrible thing. The priests of the Lord have been killed. One of the uh, priestly sons escapes. He goes to David, tells him about it. And by going to the priests, David sort of got them in, got into this uh, bad, uh, Saul's bad side, and now they're, now they're dead. So David, David kind of owns that. I knew that something bad was going to happen when I saw that person there, Doeg. But notice here what he's, he's, he says, stay with me, I will protect you. So the, here's David taking up something that he can do. He can protect this son, this Levite, the son of the priests. He can protect him and the, the priesthood will be preserved through him. He's certainly still alive. And so we have this uh, thing here. David is going to now be protecting the priest. He's already got a prophet with him. He's on the run. God is protecting him. And now the priests are with David. So things, Saul's crazed uh, approach, it just keeps lining people in with David. Interesting how that works out. What about protection? What about you and I? Can we give protection to somebody, somebody who's on the run? You know, a lot of times we don't really know their story. Here's a case where we, we really know the story. We know it in a factual way. We know what's right and what's wrong. We know the bad thing that happened. This is, when we know the story, it's a lot easier to figure out, oh yeah, this is the right thing to do. This is the wrong thing to do. So many times people will come to us and we don't really know the story. And everybody has a story and many of them have, have spent their lives telling, uh, telling stories to get people to sympathize with them and give them stuff. So we've got to be careful with that. People, uh, we've, we've all been experiencing people trying to do that to us. What can we do in those kind of cases? Well, we can double check their stories. And if there's nothing that can really be verified, why that's, uh, that's a sign you're probably dealing with something kind of creepy. But here's a case that was quite verifiable. So let's try to do right. Let's try to be help to others. Uh, let's be an agent of the kingdom, actively doing the gospel. God will bless us. And let's be there and help people who need help. But let's also be careful that we're not just uh, led astray by, by their crazy story that uh, we can't verify, we didn't even try to verify, and we think we're standing up for right. We may be aiding and abetting the wrong thing. So be, God will be our helper as we seek his help. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we're glad that David was willing here to stand up and defend Abiathar and keep him safe, keep the priesthood, what's left of it safe. We see you're working providentially here by bringing him together with David. Uh, bless, Lord, we pray for us when we are told uh, about something where we could intervene, help us to know, to find out what the facts are and make sure we're actually intervening on the side of right. Help us to be able to be used by you in bringing good to people, especially people who are persecuted and being attacked unjustly. Now, Lord, we know that will happen to us. We will be treated as strangers and persecuted and harassed. Oh, well. May we serve you and trust in you, Lord, and you will take care of the bullies. Along the way, just show us what you'd have us to do. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, God is still on his throne. You and I are his agents. Let's be his agents. And God be with you today in all that you do.